and welcome to our school at home class in English grade 10. We are in the fourth quarter of our set of lessons, and I hope everybody will delight in learning today with lesson number 13. Compose a research report on a relevant issue. Position statement, significance or purpose of the study. Learning objectives, at the end of the video lesson, the students should be able to identify position statement or thesis statement. Determine how to write a strong position statement. Write a position statement. Understand significance of the study. And recognize ways on how to write significance of the study. Pretest. Directions. Identify the main idea on the following paragraphs below. 1. We know that the planets of our solar system orbit the Sun. Comets also orbit our Sun, more than 4,000 of them. Most comets circle the Sun very slowly. While the Earth circles the Sun once a year, many comets take thousands of years to complete just one orbit of the Sun. If you got, comets in our solar system orbit the Sun, as your answer, great job. 2. Comets are made of frozen gases and bits of rock and dust. The solid part of most comets can be up to 10 miles across. As a comet gets close to the sun, the heat causes the comet's frozen gases to turn into a cloud of vapor and dust. The cloud can be thousands of miles across. Solar winds cause this vapor cloud to trail out behind the comet like a tail. This vapor tail can be hundreds of millions of miles long. If you got Comets are made of frozen gases and bits of rock and dust, as your answer, great job. 3. Sometimes comets are visible from Earth. You might think that when this happens you would see the comet whizzing across the sky. But in fact, it would appear to be motionless. This is because both the comet and the Earth are moving. If you got, when comets are visible from Earth, they appear to be motionless, as your answer. Great job! 4. The most famous comet is Halley's Comet. Its orbit around the Sun takes 76 years. This is pretty fast for a comet. There are records of sightings of Halley's Comet from 2,500 years ago. The next time it will be visible from Earth will be in 2061. If you got, the most famous comet is Halley's Comet, as your answer. Great job! In your course of learning, you were taught of how to identify main idea and its supporting details, and that it has helped you in writing your long compositions. The main idea is the central, or most important idea in a paragraph or passage. It states the purpose and sets the direction of passage. Major and minor details of the passage provide the added information to make sense of a main idea. This time, we'll focus on writing the main idea in a research called as position statement or thesis statement. Also, you will be able to determine ways of presenting or stating the significance of a study or research. What is a position statement or thesis statement? Position statement or thesis statement for your research is not much different from the long composition. Your position statement may be called your working hypothesis, your thesis statement, or your argument. Key Features A. It is a complete sentence that expresses your position on a given topic. It is never a question, it could be the answer to a question. Since it is the main statement of your entire research, it should express a complete thought and be a complete sentence. The position statement is asserting an opinion or idea, so it should not be a question. Remember to always take a stand and provide insights on the topic. Study the given example below, position statement, Cancun is a popular vacation spot in Mexico. This would not be considered a good position statement, because it is only expressing a fact. It does not reflect the writer's opinion or attitude on Cancun. This position statement does not give the writer very much to explain or prove in his or her research. Position Statement 
Cancun is one of the best vacation spots in Mexico because of its comfortable climate and proximity to some well-known archaeological sites. This would be a much better position statement because it expresses how the writer feels about Cancun. This position statement requires the writer to explain how and why going to Cancun is a good choice for visitors. B. A position statement is not simply a topic, rather it narrows down your topic to a specific focus of investigation. The position statement requires a substantial thought and development before you start writing the paper. A good position statements express a writer's opinion or attitude on a particular topic and it doesn't just state the topic itself. Study the difference between the topic and position statement on the given below. Topic, alcohol consumption is bad for a person's health. Position statement, high levels intake have damaging effects on your individual health such as unwanted weight gain, an increased risk of a heart disease, and liver difficulties. Example number 2. Topic, exercise is a healthy activity. Position statement, people should include exercise to their daily routine because it not only keeps a person's body healthy but also lessens the risks of health complications. C. It establishes a direction for the entire paper, especially if it consists of subparts. The idea controls the content of the entire essay. It is the thread that connects all parts of your paper. A position statement that contains subpoints or subtopics also helps the reader to know how the research will be organized. Example The AIDS crisis in Africa remains largely ignored by many Americans due to remnants of racist attitudes about the continent religious-based bigotry towards those with AIDS, and widespread perception of the area as unimportant to American economic security. Claymore Position, contains the main idea that controls the content of the research. Subpoints or subtopics, contains key elements that could then be developed. It also helps the reader know how the research will be organized. Subpoints presented on the text. 1. Remnants of racist attitudes about the continent. 2. Religious-based bigotry towards those with AIDS. 3. Widespread perception of the area as unimportant to American economic security. Reminder, a position statement is not a purpose statement or a statement of organization. It should not be a list. Avoid, in this paper, I will discuss the reasons why AIDS crisis in Africa remains largely ignored structure of a position statement. Your thesis should include three components. What, how, and why. What, includes claim about topic. How can you tell a strong claim from a weak one? A strong claim takes a stand. A strong claim justifies or promotes discussion. A strong claim expresses one main idea. A strong claim is specific. A strong claim is arguable. How, includes the events, ideas, sources, etc. that you choose to prove your claim. Why, includes the significance of your idea in terms of understanding your position as a whole. It answers the dreaded so what question. Study this example. In both its geography and its brutality, the U.S. Civil War remains vastly different from other conflicts experienced by Americans in the past three centuries, specifically, the widespread impact of the war on the citizenry, the economy, and the landscape proves that the importance of civil war lies as much on the home front as it does on the battlefield. Blue highlighted part of the statement, includes claim about the topic. Yellow highlighted part, are the events ideas, sources, etc. that you choose to prove your claim. And the last part, purple highlights, answers the dreaded so what question. How to write a position statement. A position statement is like a thesis or goal. It describes one side of an arguable viewpoint. For the topic, school uniforms. We can have arguable viewpoints such as, 1. For or against school uniforms, 2 for or against a stricter dress code, 3. Against any dress code. In making a position statement, 
you only have to choose one particular topic and one viewpoint from the specific topic. I'll be choosing for or against school uniforms. To write a position statement, gather a list of reasons to support a particular viewpoint. For the viewpoint, for school uniforms. We can have three supporting reasons, 1. Ensure equality. 2. Save money. 3. Help schools identify visitors. For the viewpoint, against school uniforms. We can have three supporting reasons, 1. Eliminate free expression 2. Cause teachers to waste time 3. Are too expensive to buy and maintain. Make sure to have three or more supporting reasons that are relevant to the topic. Next, write a sentence or two, that pulls all the information together and makes your stand clear to the audience. For the viewpoint. For school uniforms, our position statement could be. A uniform policy will ensure true equality in schools, save families money, and help schools identify visitors easily. For the viewpoint, against school uniforms, our position statement could be. Uniforms would cause more problems in a school than they would solve. They eliminate free expression, cause teachers to waste time, and are too expensive. What is significance of the study? Significance of the study. This is the part of the research report that explains why your research was needed. It is a justification of the importance of your work and the impact it has on your research field, its contribution to new knowledge, and how others will benefit from it. Tips in writing the significance of the study Refer to the problem statement. In writing the significance of the study, always refer to the statement of the problem. This way, you can clearly define the contribution of your study. To simplify, your research should answer this question. What are the benefits or advantages of the study based on the statement of the problem? 2. Write it from general to particular. Determine the specific contribution of your thesis study to society as well as to the individual. Write it deductively, starting from general to specific. Start your significance of the study broadly then narrowing it out to a specific group or person. This is done by looking into the general contribution of your study, such as its importance to society as a whole, then move towards its contribution to individuals as yourself as a researcher. Activity A. Read the following sentences. As you read complete the following tasks. A. Identify which statement are too broad or too narrow, write TB or TN. B. Identify which statement announce the topic, write A. C. Identify which statement incomplete ideas, write I and C. D. Identify statements that are fine, write OK. 1. Manitoba is famous for its landscape, weather, and festival du voyager. 2. Miss Y can make 15 different types of pie. 3. Religion is a controversial issue. 4. How I arrived at the library. 5. This essay concerns the role of moss in the Arctic ecosystem. If you got the same answers, great job! Rapid Activity Do this on a piece of paper. Summing up what I learned in my journey through this lesson, I learned that Valuing. Do this on a piece of paper. How will you apply the knowledge you've gained from this module in your daily living? Postist. Direct if you got the same answers, Jens, write yes if the following statement is true about the position statement and write no, if not. 1. A topic sentence could be used as the position statement. 2. Subpoints or subtopics also helps the reader to know how the research will be organized. 3. The position statement is asserting an opinion or idea. 4. A strong claim expresses one or more ideas. 5. Position claim should specific that it must include explanation of how and why of the claim. If you got the same answers, great job!
you have come to the end of this video lesson. Thank you and see you on the next discussion.